Hello, everyone, to today's bite sized talk. I'm Franziska Bonert, I'm the host today, and with me is Matthias Hörtenhuber, and he is going to talk about pre commit. Yes, hi, and it, it will be a short one, so let's get going with it. Title is pre commit, hooked on a commit, and it's basically trying how we solve the problem or we, how we're trying to solve this problem, a lot of us run into. You commit your code, then GitHub CI runs Prettier, and it finds a mistake and asks um, very passive aggressively if you maybe forgot to run Prettier. So what are the solution? First solution is, of course, you ask an of core bot to please fix the linting. And I did a quick search and actually 260 PRs have a comment, at least one comment, where somebody asked the bot to fix the linting. So that's nice that people are using the bot. But actually, maybe we should try to save the icebergs and give NF core bots sometimes a break because these things we can do differently. Because what if you don't need to run the bot because you already run prettier when you commit your code or actually before you commit to your code. So we use this tool called pre-commit, which runs prettier. Uh, before you, when you hit git commit, it runs prettier and checks if the code is fine and makes changes on it. So how do you set pre-commit up? Well, the good news is it comes already pre-installed with the NF core tools as a dependency. Um, and then you need to have a pre-commit config YAML file, for example, this one here for uh, Prettier. And also, more good news, in the next uh, tools release, this will be part of every pipeline uh, template and also in the uh, modules repository. So all there, we have that uh, set up. It doesn't change anything for you that we have it there. But if you then also run in your repository pre-commit install, it actually sets up this uh, Git hook. And whenever you hit commit, uh, Prettier is run beforehand and it uh, doesn't allow you to commit until you fixed these changes. So how does it look like? Uh, I made here a short example. Um, where I just added a line in the, in the readme file. As you can see, it's just below uh, a heading, so Peter will not like it. So I run commit, and actually Peter was run and fixed it, but that's the important thing. It didn't commit it yet. It, it's, it's changed, but not added. So I actually need to run commit a second time. That's something, something I sometimes forget. So you always need to run git commit twice uh, if there's something wrong. If nothing is wrong, your prettier passes, then the commit runs through. Um, so this is prettier for which we use for markdown files and uh, similar files. But you can use, that's one of the nice things with um, pre-commit, you can use basically every linter code linting uh, tool you want. And also it doesn't matter if it's in a different language. They have like you see with Prettier, which is actually a NPM tool. Um, you, we don't need to have Node installed to run this version of Prettier with, uh, with pre-commit. It just comes through the, the mirror there. But other tools like uh, Python-based tools come directly from, from the tools itself. And if we said, this config up like here, like we have for the tools repository, for example, um, it automatically checks uh, the Python files for with black and isolate. So in this example, I added again to the readme file, but I also switched the import statements in our uh, main.py. And if I then run commit, it not only runs prettier, but it also runs black and isolate. And black was uh, satisfied. I sort found that there was an error there and fixed it fast. And Prettier fixed it fast as well uh, within the README. So, and the only changes then were in the README because the, we already had it nicely sorted before. So, had the second commit 
and now the code is, is nice again. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, just quick shout out to the person who actually brought this tool to us, which was Fabian. Um, it was uh, more of an idea how to always have prettier available in tools without requiring people to install Node. And he found this tool and actually it's very nice uh, with the, having it also run in uh, with pipelines and everything. So hail Fabian. And with that, I'm open for any questions if there are. Thank you very much. So uh, if you have any questions, then you can either write them in the, in the uh, chat or you can just ask them straight away. Everyone should be now able to unmute themselves. Do we have any questions? It doesn't seem Maxime. so. Maxime says hello or has a question. Uh, yes, I have a question. Uh, you said that it's uh, in tools. Uh, is it already in the? Is it already released, or is it in the coming release? So in tools, it's already in the in the release because uh, actually we run prettier with pre-commit uh, whenever we dump YAML files or JSON files in tools. For example, when we create the te tests for modules, these files are now prettified. Uh, with prettier, um, be, uh, because before we had the problem that our function actually dumped code prettier didn't like. So now we run pre-commit to run prettier on it. And also itself, the repository has the black and ISO. So there it's already in, but for the pi pipelines, um, the um, next release will have it in a template. So then all the pipelines also get it. So you just need to run pre-commit install to activate it. Uh, modules now has yesterday got the template, uh, got the config in. So if you now are in modules and uh, pull and then run pre-commit install, all your modules will automatically run prettier. Or like all changes in, on modules will automatically be run through prettier before you can commit. So yeah, a recommendation to do that uh, if you write modules or subflows. Thank you. Are there any more questions? If not, then uh, I would like to thank our speaker um, and also the Jan Zuckerberg Initiative for funding the talks. And as usual, you can um, ask more questions if you have any in Slack. And this um, will be uploaded to YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.